In order to do the battery replacement on this iPhone 12, you need to start by removing the two screws at the bottom of the device. Those are pentalobe screws. Generally, inside a battery replacement kit, you're going to find all the tools necessary for you to perform the battery replacement. The next step, you will need to hit the front of the device, hit the screen with a heat gun. You can do it with a common hair dryer also. It might take a little bit longer than the heat gun, but I hit the front of the device for at least 40 seconds using the highest setting on my heat gun. So now that the screen on this device is broken, I try to use a suction cup in order to pull the screen slightly and create an opening between the screen and the body of the device, but it wasn't working. So I had to hold the device in place and use a smaller suction cup in order to pry one side of the device only and then I inserted my tool on that area. In your case, if the screen is perfectly fine, there is no crack on the screen, you can simply hit the front of the device and use a suction cup to pull the bottom portion of the screen slightly, then you insert a guitar pick and you will start moving the guitar pick around in order to separate the screen from the body of the device. So here after I inserted my tool before I started using the guitar pick I heated the bottom of the device slightly again in order to help me remove the screen more easily. So once I was done with the bottom side of the device I heated the side the right or left side where I'm going to work next and then after that I inserted my guitar pick did the same thing. Also once I had the guitar pick between the frame of the device and the screen when I heated the screen of the device it was less than 20 seconds. Reheat the front of the device whenever you find too much friction while moving the guitar pick around. While removing the screen of this iPhone 12 make sure that the guitar pick is not inserted far inside because you have some cables the flex cable at the top and the one at the middle of the device. All those cables are on the left side of the device while looking at the screen. Before doing anything else you need to remove two screws that are holding the retaining plate that is on top of the motherboard and cover covering the flex cable on the middle of the device. Then you need to disconnect the battery cable. After disconnecting the battery cable, you can start removing the flex cable of the screen. You have two flex cables coming from the screen. At the top of the device, you need to do the same thing. You need to remove four screws that are holding the retaining plate that is covering the flex cable for the speaker. Once you have done that, you need to disconnect the flex cable for the front speaker and then remove the screen out of the device. If you have a broken screen, this is the right time to replace the screen on your iPhone 12. You just need to transfer the front speaker onto the new screen. With this iPhone 12, you have some pull tabs at the top of the battery and also at the bottom of the battery. So you need to undo the pull tab at the top of the battery first. After you have completed that step, you need to start pulling on the pull tab. Generally, you can just undo the pull tab and try to pull it with your finger. But if it is not working like my case here, you need to have a tweezer and get a hold of the pull tab, the plastic double sided tape pull tab and start pulling on it. So what I do is try to roll the end of the pull tab on the tip of the tweezer once I have a grip on the pull tabs. Then once I think I have enough pull tab on the tweezer, I try to pull on the pull tab. And here I did that and it didn't work. And if you still see the end of the pull tab near the battery, you can try to roll and have it stick on the end of the tweezer like I just do it. And then you can start to pull on the pull tab if it works. So obviously with this iPhone 12, my pull tabs are not working. So I had to put a little bit of alcohol on top near the pull tab and then let it sit for at least one minute, one to two minutes. And then I started to use my plastic tool in order to pry the battery out. Before trying the alcohol solution or try to hit the back of the device in order to help you remove the battery, you can start removing the pull tabs at the bottom of the battery also. You can see on the bottom of the battery, there are a lot of pull tabs. It is more larger than the one at the top. If you successfully remove the pull tabs at the bottom of the battery, you can start removing the battery by using brute force and pull the battery out. For the installation of the battery, I'm going to use some double sided tape. You can see at the top left corner of the screen, you have the pull tabs that I tried to install, but it wasn't working. So this is why I'm using some double sided tape. So generally with the new battery that you will install on the iPhone 12, you will have the pull tab pre-installed on the back of the battery. If the pull tabs are not pre-installed on the back of the battery, you're going to have a set of pull tabs that are ready for you to install on the back of the battery. For me, I did use some double sided tape. This is perfectly fine. The battery is not going anywhere. It will not move inside the device. Also while placing the battery inside the frame of the device, make sure that the battery cable is aligned perfectly for the battery cable to be connected to the motherboard without any issues. 
So here I have reinstalled the screen of this iPhone 12. The battery cable is connected, the flex cable of the screen and also the flex cable of the front speaker. Before you put all the retaining plate, make sure that you test the device to make sure that everything is working. Then you can reinstall all the retaining plates. If your device is not turning on after you press the side button, you need to insert the charging cable. This is going to make the device turn on. This is something that Apple does. In my case, I didn't need the charging cable. The device turned on after I pressed the power button. You can see Face ID also is working. This device is perfectly fine. By just replacing the battery on your iPhone, you will lose the battery health stat, the battery capacity numbers. Also, if you replace the screen on an iPhone, you're going to see the same type of message saying that the repair part that you install is not genuine, even if the part is coming directly from Apple. Like I said, you will not lose any features after you replace the battery on your iPhone 12. You should not have any issues from day-to-day -day usage of your device. Face ID should be working and also the cameras should be working like normal without any problems. If you want to keep the health stat, you will need to desolder the small board on top of the battery and transfer it onto the new battery and solder on the new battery. In order to do all this soldering, you will need a spot welder and also you will need a special flex cable that is going to reprogram the battery on the motherboard. So doing it this way is the easiest way to replace the battery on your iPhone and have 100% of battery capacity even if you do not see the battery capacity under setting on your iPhone. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, like and share and I will see you on my next video.